The talk most talks in the medical field and health research is the topic about cancer. Many are just taken aback by the mere mention of the word cancer. To many, a cancer diagnosis is an equivalent to a death sentence. Cancer is simply than programmed growth of cells. Cells being the basic and simplest unit of life are meant to die and grow at equal rates in order to maintain stability. Cancer is caused by various agents such as exposure to radiation, poor dietary choices, and carcinogens. The annual incidences of cancer in Kenya is about 28,000, with an annual mortality of 22,000. That is to say that 78.5% of the victims do not survive. Like the other experiences in Africa, cancer is the third leading cause of death after the infectious and cardiovascular diseases. For over the years, cancer has robbed off the country's great personalities. Amongst them are business persons, journalists, and politicians. According to a research conducted in 2018 by the World Health Organization, 30% of 30,000 Kenyans lost their lives to cancer, with 40,000 new cases being reported. CCAT purposes to reduce the long waiting periods for cancer treatment. It also purposes to restore the once lost self esteem of the cancer victims, and more, most of all, we purpose to eliminate the cancer mortality rates amongst us. Join with us as we purpose to reduce cancer mortality rates. My name is Julie and I'm the managing director of the CCAT. My name is Priscilla Munuven, and I'm the product creator stock developer of CCAT. We developed the app using MIT App Inventor 2. Once you download the app from Play Store and register with us, the patient will have a variety of options to choose from, their regimen, and they will be able to key in their current medication, dosage, nutritional diet, and such reminders to help us monitor the medication and many to take it. The app also has a screen called Ask a Doctor, where patients can be available doctors and have one-on-one -on -one live chats with them. They can book appointments with the whichever hospital and doctor of their choice. The app has a counseling screen where patients can read articles written by cancer survivors to give them institute more motivation. Moreover, they'll be able to seek counselors to help with any psychological problems they might be experiencing. Most importantly, the app has a screen where patients can contact ambulances with the nearest hospitals to get assistance in the fastest way possible. I'm Stephanie Kavulani. During the development of our app, we got our money from Selling snacks in school where we managed to raise 800 shillings and we also had a rambe during the AGM where we managed to get a total of 14,000 14, shillings. That totaling up to 14,800 shillings. Registration is free but as you continue using our app, 300 shillings is charged as a monthly subscription fee. For example, we have 10 patients using our app. That is 3,000 shillings a month, totaling up to 30,000 shillings, 36,000 shillings annually. We, we also get a 30% commission from our doctors and counselors. The future prospect of the money we get from this app is that some of the money will be donated to the pe cancer patients living in rural areas, and the rest of the money will be used to start a chemist that will facilitate drugs for cancer patients. Finance manager, CCAT app. I'm Simon Mitchell, the marketing director of CCAT. Our target market are the cancer patients in the Western region. We are also targeting the whole country by the end of this year. We marketed our app through t-shirts with the CCAT logo, through posters and banners. We also held a campaign on 4th of February where we interacted with most of the cancer patients and we got to know the challenges they were going through. There are other organizations and websites that deal with cancer, but our app is unique in a way that it deals with all types of cancer and it links the patients with the doctors and specialists. I'm Balin Kazira, the Human Resource Manager of the CCAT app. The resources we used as a team included computers, which were available in our school computer lab, as well as our teachers' phones to Google and gain information on cancer. We visited some of the cancer patients, talked to them, and discovered the challenges they faced living with cancer. We used the, statist the statistics from the World Health Organization, which enabled us to identify the cancer mortality rate in our country. We talked to some of the doctors who specialize mostly in cancer, and we learned more about the medication of cancer. Joining with us as we purpose to eliminate cancer mortality rates amongst us.